In 2013, Cleveland became one of the first Jewish communities in the United States to launch a widespread security initiative. And with incidents like the Tree of Life synagogue shooting in Pittsburgh and January's hostage situation at a synagogue in Colleyville, Texas, community leaders told our Marissa signs the need to keep Jewish spaces safe is as important as ever. Certainly you could say that this is a safe space. It's a place where we draw closer to, to God, a place where we pray. This is a place that is, is joyful and it's a place that is at times solemn. For nine years, six of them here in Cleveland, Rabbi Scott Rowland has devoted his life full time to Judaism. Over the course of those years, what's changed is the extra eyes who keep him safe. Have you just gotten used to seeing a guard or even perhaps an armed guard when you're walking in on a holy day or any day at work? There is a sense of security and a sense of safety that, that I feel when I'm walking into a Jewish building and I see that there's security there. It does not feel threatening to have an officer, officer outside of our synagogue or an officer outside of my children's school. Protecting the Jewish community from schools to synagogues is a security force that was built from the ground up. The JFC Security LLC, it's like a mid-sized police department. The force is a make of nearly 50 officers, all of whom have law enforcement experience. The vetting process, neither small in task nor severity for Jim Hartnett, the director of the Jewish Federation's community-wide security. We try and really do a thorough job of looking through their history. We look to attract top-level talent. We have five former police chiefs here, former FBI, former SWAT team leaders, hostage negotiators, bomb techs. The Anti-Defamation League of Cleveland reports anti-Semitic hate crimes in 2021 set a new record in Ohio, some hitting close to home. The reality of needing such a robust security force for the Jewish community comes as a balancing act. We don't want community members to live in fear that uh, there's so many guards and police vehicles around that they're afraid to live a Jewish life. I think the Jewish community understands the need for security. Do I wish that we didn't have to invest time and money and personnel into, into our security? Absolutely. I do take a lot of pride that we are so prepared. Marissa Signs, 3 News.